Hello, my name is Tom Fadala from Promedia Gear. Today I'm gonna talk about our flash brackets. What I'm holding here is a boomerang flash bracket. Um, this bracket is configured to fit a Canon 5D with the grip. Notice the bottom for vertical access, a razor to raise the arm. The arm fits around the lens. This flash bracket has a modular design. Um, it features a removable um, custom plate or universal plate. Uh, this plate is made for Canon 5D grip or 7D grip. Uh, you can remove it just by unscrewing here and pulling it apart. The uh, plate has uh, two guide posts and a thread. So this is your plate. You can use the plate by itself or you can use it with our flash bracket. So we're going to put it back in. Notice how it snaps in really quick. Um, other piece is the, uh, the locking mechanism. The flash bracket locks at 90 degree um, orientation. Okay, right now this flash bracket is for uh, panorama or landscape orientation. If you want to flip it to a uh, portrait orientation, squeeze the lever, rotate it 90 degrees, and here we go. It's locked in place. So next thing I'm going to show you how to mount it on the camera. So we get a 5D with the grip. Well, orient it this way. Put your plate, match the, match the threads, and take an Allen wrench or hex wrench and uh, just tighten the screw. Make sure it's nice and tight. Um, what this plate provides is an anti-rotation lips, so it grips the body. And it's a precision machine, so it's, uh, if you put your hand over it, it doesn't feel awkward, it feels smooth, it feels almost like a part of a camera. So here it is, it's still without, uh, still without a cable and without a flash. Uh, we use a Canon Shoe Cord OCE3. Uh, you can get this at B&H or whatever. So you slide it into the camera, lock it, slide it on the top, and uh, orient it this way to put it on and tighten the thumb screw. We also provide you with the hex, a hex screw if you don't want to use the, the thumb screw. I like to use the thumb screw. And then we get a 580X2 to put on top, lock it in place, and there you go. Here's your flash bracket. To, uh, again, to rotate the, the flash, squeeze the lever, move it to a vertical position. If you want to move it back, squeeze it again, move it back. So once again, squeeze it, move it, squeeze it, move it. Yeah. And we also give you, uh, we also give you access to vertical buttons, hence this design. Uh, you have access to the rotating wheel, to the manual function key, and a shutter release key. So if you notice, you can put your hand over it, flip your flash, and you can access your vertical buttons with ease. So it doesn't add much weight to the camera. Uh, depending on configuration, it weighs between 12 to 14 ounces. This one's 14 because this is for a bigger camera body. Um, so the next thing I'm going to show you is the boomerang flash bracket for cameras without grip. So here we got a um, boomerang flash bracket for cameras without grip. Notice the difference. There's difference in height. This one raises the flash, so it's in line with the focus, you know, with the center of the lens, vertically and horizontally. Um, this one also, the smaller, uh, it's still the same price. This one also features the uh, the quick release mechanism. You unscrew it this way and pull it apart. Notice those pins and the guide posts. So this all hides and goes inside. And then you lock it in place. Um, so it's up to you if you want to use the, the quick release mechanism or not. Um, again, operates the same way. You squeeze the lever and it moves the flash 90 degrees. So if you want to put it on the camera, well, first we got to get rid of the grip. So we'll attach it to the camera.
So it's nice and tight. We attached it to the camera. Now we're gonna put in uh, our uh, shoe cord. And then attach it to the flash bracket. Same fashion as before. I like using the thumb screw. We also give you a hex screw if you wanna use the hex key to attach it. And then we slide in the flash and lock it in place. So here it is. This is for smaller camera buddies. Some people prefer this. Uh, we are gonna work on a version that the arm is on the left hand side versus the right hand side for people who shoot it like this. And we also wanna incorporate an L bracket for this orientation where for portrait shooting on a tripod you could just put it like this remove it and set it back on a tripod um, both of these designs feature the arca swiss compatible um, body plate so if you have an arca swiss compatible uh, head from really right stuff wimberly or arca swiss or one of our clamps you can just put it securely on a tripod um, uh, these uh, boomerang flash brackets are designed not to slip down. There's a safety stop so camera won't slip down in this position. Uh, next thing I want to show you is a, is a clearance um, for a uh, Nikon cable. Uh, we designed it in mind so uh, if you use a Nikon camera, I don't have a Nikon camera with me right now, but if you have a Nikon shoe cord, shoe cord comes with the uh, infrared light for focusing. So if you put it here, there's still clearance so you can get the beam through. So there's no problem with this. Or if you use a quantum strobe, you still get clearance for the focusing for vertical or horizontal shooting. Or if you want to use it with a sun pack, obviously it will also accept the sun pack. Not with the Nikon cord, of course, but if you want to use different flashes, you can use flashes like this, still in line. So, Okay, so you bought one of our flash brackets uh, and you want to use it with a tripod. Uh, as I said before, our flash brackets include a quick release mechanism. You can remove it from the body plate. So this plate is for Nikon D3, this plate is for Canon 5D grip or battery pack or Canon 7D battery pack. We have other plates and if we don't have a custom plate we have a universal plate. So if you want to use it with the tripod, I'll show you about the, about the flash bracket so it's easier to see. This plate features two safety stops on either end. Actually one safety stop is needed if used with the flash bracket but without it you need two just to keep the camera more secure. You would load it on the top and I'm using it with our C60 clamp. And it's got a very nice, very tight connection. Arca Swiss compatible. Uh, you can slide it, but it won't slide out. You can slide it this way or this way. It's gonna stay on the tripod. We are going to work on a version that will incorporate the uh, L bracket with the flash bracket. Uh, but that's, uh, we don't know when that's going to be ready yet. So, if you want to remove it, uh, we're going to try another plate. I'll put it on here. Slide it in. Lock it in place. Very nice, tight connection. All this is precision machined here in Chicago. So, you can slide load this one. You don't have to top load it. But it will stop here. It won't slide anymore. So if you're using a camera in vertical position, you don't have to worry about it sliding down. Now if you use it in another position, I don't know why you would. There's a possibility you can slide out. So use it as, as instructed. So if you want to rotate it, whatever, it'll stay in place or you can slide it out. Slide it back in, lock it in place. Thank you for watching and uh, we're going to make more products soon. Thanks.